anytime that you're working in a document here in InDesign and make a change, InDesign has a way of letting us know that changes have been made, yet the document hasn't been saved. And it does that if we take a closer look up at our tab, we'll see an Acerix sign right before the name of our document that we have open. And this little Acerix basically tells us that changes have been made to the document, but we haven't saved it. So there are three types of saving a document here in InDesign. The default, and what you're probably more familiar with, is by hitting Control S on your keyboard, and this will automatically overwrite the current document that you've opened. And it's the same as going up to your File menu and choosing Save. But there are two other ways that we can save documents here in InDesign. We can save as, so if I select that dialog box, I can browse to the folder that I want to save it in. I can name the file type, so I can leave it the same name if I want to and overwrite, and I'll probably get a prompt that asks me if I want to overwrite that file, or I can change the name. So let's say I might change this to chaseharborom2.indesign, and I can choose the type of file that I want to save it as, and InDesign gives me two choices at this point. I can save it as a native InDesign document that allows me to overwrite that document anytime I have it open, or I can create what's called an InDesign CS5 template. Now the difference is when I create a template and pass that over to somebody or reopen it, it will basically name that file untitled document. And if I work on that untitled document, I will not be able to override that template. I will have to save it as an individual native InDesign file or document. So I can either choose document or template. In most cases, you'll probably choose document. And then you can go ahead and click save to save that document in whatever folder you specify. Now the third option we have is called Save As Copy. And this is going to be somewhat different than just Save As, just in a very subtle, subtle different way. Here we can see that it names it by default Chase, Har Chase Sky Harbor OM Copy dot INDD. And again, here I can save it as a document or a template. The difference is if I save it as a copy, it's only going to save to the reference of the changes that I, that I have made up to this point. So it's non-destructive in the sense that it will not override the current document that I'm working on. It just saves it as a copy up to the changes that I've made. But you'll notice if we come up to the top here that we still have an Acerix symbol next to the name. Now watch what happens when I hit Control S. Now I did what is called destructive editing. I've overridden the original document by hitting Control S and now InDesign tells me that whatever changes I've made, I've saved them and the document has been saved. So now if I move something around like this image again, we'll see that Acerix pop up and that tells me once again, I've made a change and did not save the document. So save as copy is a great way to save a copy up to the edit that you've made. But if you're working in something that is not a template based and you want to save the original file, then hitting Control S is probably the most popular method that you will use here in InDesign.